So I want to quickly go over how to send and receive a program with the uh, emulator here. I've had a bunch of difficulties with it and I think I've got it figured out. So you're going to take a flash drive and it's got to be under 2 gigabytes and it's got to be FAT or FAT16, which these are. I'm going to put it in here and what uh, you're going to see is the light's going to stop flashing. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to push out a program. So we're going to go... Uh, we're gonna label a program that doesn't exist go to I know this is a small program this one here so I'm gonna select this program now I'm gonna on this flash drive I think there's only one program on it at 05 so I'm gonna send a program there I'm gonna call this one 01 and I'm gonna press F2 you can see disk write disk read disk directory so I'm gonna press F2 so it's going to send it. Now you're going to see this. It's sending. Now we're going to watch for the green light to go off. I think the flash drive should flash and that light should go off. And then you can remove it. Okay, so now you can take that out. And what we're going to go do is we're going to go with that file we're going to save our new program under that uh, program number that we just pushed onto this and, and then we're going to upload it. So now we're going to plug this flash drive in and we're going to open it. So you can see there's two programs on here. Just for simplicity's sake we're going to delete this one because that was an old one. Okay, and then right here we're gonna we're gonna rename this, or we're gonna save uh, copy text and and then save it in here. So we're just gonna post process just this one part of the program. So click post process. We're gonna save it as a as a number that doesn't exist in the computer or in the controller on the Haas machine. Let's say 29. Okay, we're gonna call this face. Okay, we're going to post this, we're going to save it in the drive, save it, okay, you can see it's popped up over here, we're going to open this, select all, copy it, close it, we're going to open this with notepad, select all, paste, file, save, close this, we're going to delete this. And now we're going to eject this drive. Okay, let's eject it. Now we're going to take our USB. Going to plug it in there. It's going to it's going to read it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to call the program. zero one and you press F3 so it's reading and it just popped up winder face so your best bet I've had a lot of problems with this is, is just keep, keep deleting it and keep sending programs because like I said I've had uh, I've had issues where sometimes it doesn't read programs sometimes it doesn't see them but your best bet is to just uh, send a, send one program out on this a, a simple program and then just copy and paste over it and just keep doing that and that seems to work reliably.